Hello, um, here's a neat little trick you can do with any image, preferably aerial views of cities and landscapes. And basically what this trick will do will make your image look like a load of miniature set. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, this method was developed by a user named Freak23 off of the Living With Style forums over a month ago. And here's a little video tutorial how to do it. First off, you want to get your image opened up in Photoshop and then click the gradient tool right here and then make sure that the fourth icon over is selected reflected gradient and also make sure that your colors are black and white standard positions and the next thing you want to do is edit in quick mask mode which you can click the icon over here or simply press Q on your keyboard the next step you want to do is pick the area that you want to have visible for the miniature set and you're going to want to shift click and then drag upwards to, to fill up the area that you want and I think for this image, I'm going to do it right about here. Yeah, that's probably good. And then you're going to want to get out of quick mask mode by either pressing Q on your keyboard or, once again, the icon over here. And then you're going to go to Filter, Blur, Lens Blur. Now, only Photoshop CS and CS2 have Lens Blur, so your old Photoshop users out there will not be able to do this, unfortunately. And that's basically what you'll have as your final result but for the settings over here you probably want to have your radius of 16 for best results and brightness I usually crank it up a little bit but it really doesn't have that much of an effect on it you want to hit OK and then hit Control D to deselect and then finally if you go to image adjustments hue saturation and if you bump your saturation level up, maybe about 30-ish, 35 for this image, hit OK, you'll give it a more miniature set look and thing. That would appear that this image was handmade. And I hope that you find this tutorial useful to make your own miniature sets. Here are a few of the examples that I did earlier today. Let's see, uh, this one. And stadium. As you see, adding the saturation also helps to give the image the more miniature look and colors of hand painted. And then finally, this one. I think the best one is probably this one. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks.